this is old Cam. And this is not a spring check. And if any of you people out there that are old enough to remember Richard Nixon's election during the Watergate scandal. What? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. That's there, a lot of people don't. But most of Actually, the, they did a movie, All the President's Men. Yeah. But, uh, but the... the <clears throat> Actually, that's when I met my Angelique. So, yeah. we never we actually we went to the movies. We never actually did see the movie, but that's another reason. But um, uh, but uh, the uh, people that are politicians in the news media that are old enough are privately, which has started to become public, talking about the same thing happening with this president as happened to Richard Nixon. How? Because they control the Congress of the United States, where the hearings have to be held in the Senate. They're delaying the hearings until after the election is over, which means they're actually talking very publicly about the possibility of, um, of removing the President of the United States from office for high crimes and misdemeanors. Ouch. Yeah. The, the, the primary one thing, what they're talking about now to get around that is that it, it, it's, it's, guided, it's an understanding, I mean the Republicans, Paul Ryan has basically said it, this is not an election for the President of the United States, it's an election for the Senate of the United States because the Senate is going to decide who the next President is going to be, not the people. But then they say, well the people are going to elect the Senate, so they are electing, they're electing the President, they are the people, but no. They said the Democrats, if they come close to losing the Senate, are going to hold it against Obama. What? Yeah, and well, because the Senate actually decides who the the, the the Senate when they come down to the final thing, the Senate always decides through the electoral process and everything who the president is actually going to be. Wait a minute. So we everybody can vote ahead of time. Yeah. Right. And then it can get to the Senate, and they can change it. The Senate can change it. The Senate can basically. Has it ever been done before? It's been done with the vice president, not with the president. Was. Who was it done with uh, Okay, uh, what happened was it was Alexander Hammer, uh, it was, it was um, Thomas Hamilton. Jefferson, and uh, what happened was the race was so tight that it went to the Senate to decide that the, who was going to be the president. Uh, Thomas Jefferson had the most votes, but the other party, didn't, who was in control of the Senate, didn't want Thomas Jefferson to run wild, so what they did was they gave Thomas Jefferson a vice president from their party so that if anything happened to Jefferson, they would once again control the presidency. Mm -hmm. And they're looking at that again. They're looking at the possibility of a Romney presidency and a vice president, Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. And then if they remove Romney for one reason or another, Joe Biden becomes president. Is that neat how that works? Because the Democrats don't like, they really, okay, they have had four years of nothing getting getting accomplished, and and the health care act will. Okay, here's the trick is. Yeah, but see, part of it he hasn't been impeached so far. So why would they do it now? Because they're going to lose more seats in the Senate. They 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 lost the House, which they should not have lost. They're on the verge of losing the Senate. As of this moment, is a dead 50-50 tie with Biden being the but deciding see, but thing. But see, part of it is, is usually whoever is elected president stays president. That's the way you, okay. It, it also is, you generally have a president that actually attends cabinet meetings. And you have a president that doesn't spend all his time playing golf. You have a president that doesn't spend his time on vacation. You have a disinterested president and Congress is running the country and the Senate can get nothing done because they don't have enough votes in the Senate which they directly blame on the president. They had a supermajority and he cost them the supermajority. And they're pissed at him. They also know that uh, this morning we got the, you know, okay, when no one can afford to buy anything because of the economy is so bad, do we have the highest approval of the, how the country is going in the last decade? Uh, when, all, when all of the major companies on Wall Street are revising first quarter and second quarter backwards and are declaring and not hitting their targets on the third quarter, does our gross national product actually go up? Mm -hmm. When more pe when all the companies are saying they're laying off people, does the unemployment rate go down? Mm -hmm. They know that he, they're, 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 the Democrats are learning firsthand about Chicago politics, which means when you're getting your butt kicked, 
double down and you just uh, lie. You don't tell the truth. And I know that the people that are supposed to be nonpartisan now in the federal government are now basically White House staffers is all they are. And the Democrats can't, they're, okay, the majority of the people on the Democratic Party do not agree with the way Obama is running the country. Because, okay, when you, uh, when you, when you're losing jobs in your state because of his actions, if you're in a coal country and all, he wants to shut down coal, you really get unhappy. When you're in the oil company and he's shutting down oil, you're, uh, you're losing jobs, they're unhappy. Mm -hmm. When you're, when you're, when your uh, area is known for production of, medi of pharmaceuticals and things like that, and he wants to shut them down with FDA regula regulations, you're unhappy. When you're in the nuclear power industry and he wants to shut them all down, you're unhappy. So, um, And then he wants to, to raise taxes on the very people that are providing the jobs that makes you unhappy. Mm -hmm. So there is no love of this man in the Senate of the United States. He cost him the House. There's a good possibility. They, they said what happens is if Elizabeth Warren does not take Scott Brown's place in, Mass in Massachusetts, the Republicans take the Senate. Mm -hmm. And if the Republicans take the Senate, Obama will be impeached. If the Republicans only take a tie, Obama will be, re they said Obama will be impeached. If the Republicans get 49 seats, Obama will be impeached. They already have 47. Mm -hmm. They're expected to come up with at least 49. So if they will impeach him, if they get 49, 50, 51, he gets impeached. It's sort of why they're talking about removing this president. And he's given mm -hmm. them answer okay I mean she wasn't paying attention this morning but this morning they broke the news that the United the uh, the White House ordered the military to stand down on 9/11 which I knew they did it because I get Pentagon stuff that they were not ordered to be ready for any 9/11 this year 9/11 this year the president of the United States did not want to cause make it look like they were being hostile on 9/11 he ordered our military to stand down which so means, guess what this is why um, it's a, it was a great opportunity for anyone else to attack us well, right no, because if I knew they were ordered to be stand stand other down other people knew other that. people knew it and this is why Leon Tonetta said that that we, uh, we had to do this and we had to do that before we could be certain what it said. He said nobody was ready because uh, we, they basically took the ammunition away from a lot of people that would have been sent. Oh, come on. Airplanes were not put in the air because they had, um, okay, in order to get, I used to fly jets. You do not put a jet into the air really quickly unless it's ready. You know, you have to fuel them up, you have to, you have to equip, they, they do not, they no longer stand ready to fight. They have certain ones that but are. You know what, it, it just is, to me it's just ridiculous. It's like they, around the world, they know that that date, what that date means to the United States, but the, which would be an ideal day to do something. The President of the United States is trying to do a Muslim outreach program where he doesn't want to offend people. They, they simply are, the, the President has tried to throw Leon Panetta under the wheels of his campaign machine, and Leon Panetta has been around for a long time, so Leon Panetta just give the explanation that we weren't prepared, which is why we couldn't go in. This morning, the Pentagon backed Panetta up, not the president. Mm -hmm. He was going to throw Hillary Clinton under the wheels of the bus, and then miraculously, emails show up to show that they knew what was going on and did nothing. Now we've also got things that the, the Situation Room was in operation as a, they actually have everything that happened in real time. The White House knew what was going on and did nothing, but he went to a campaign thing. And the trick is, for seven hours, they, they sent out messages asking for help. And sent seven them, hours? Seven hours. That's disgusting. It's just like... Um, uh, like during that World, is totally disgusting. During World War II, uh, the, I think the United States did not want to get involved in a thing, and for uh, for half a day, uh, a ship carrying hospital personnel kept sending out, "We are under attack. We are under attack. We are under attack. We are under attack." Franklin Roosevelt sent no one out, even though the Navy was there. They could have saved the lives of lots of wounded people that weren't in our army. Were in our, I mean, it doesn't make any difference. You're attacking a hospital ship, for Christ's sake. You come to their rescue, even if you're the bad guys, you come to their rescue. Mm -hmm. that's, that's called, the Red Cross is neutral. They didn't. 
So there was a black mark on the uh, the, the Roosevelt administration. What which, did you think it was a trap? No, they didn't want to get involved. So they didn't come to the rescue of a hospital ship. Uh, it's the same thing. Obama did not want to be bothered with four people being killed. I mean, I mean, first of all, I know the guy didn't get asphyxiated. I saw the pictures of the yanked off of the stuff of him being yanked out. He was quite alive when they yanked him out of the building. Alive, folks. He didn't die of asphyxiation. He, they brought him out. Those pictures are gone. There's no backup things. I mean, it's how it works in the, new, in the industry. You miraculously remove things. If they're not on YouTube, they get yanked. If they're new stuff, they go bye bye. If they're Pentagon stuff, they go bye bye. But um, they think well, it's, they get yanked on YouTube too. Yeah, but um, but they don't necessarily get yanked if they don't if they're not happy with this president. Mm -hmm. So YouTube is actually a different division than Google. Google worships the ground the president walks on. YouTube is basically a money losing machine, and they can't afford to be shut down because the people that they do business with them provide money to do things like mm -hmm. that. But um, it's what they're talking about. There is, okay, the President of the United States broke no law in not doing anything. Mm -hmm. That's not the point. It's called high crimes and misdemeanors. There, a misdemeanor is not a crime. It's something you should not have done. And that is how a President gets impeached. Not, they said not for what was done, but what was done to hide what was done. That Richard Nixon broke no law. None. None. It's just what was done to keep something that was rough. The trick is, what was in those files that they took that shook people so much? Oh, interesting. That was basically that really good. Buried. I mean, they're going to, they're going okay, they, they expect that the, the President of the United States is going to be tossed under the wheels of the bus of the Democratic Party after the election. It, you know, they're going to, because the Democrats want Biden as Vice President. They told totally him why, because Biden is one of them. He's, he's, he may be senile, which he's not, he does not have Alzheimer's disease. He's just showing signs of getting very old. He doesn't remember things like he should. He's, he tends to say, old people have a tendency to say whatever they're really thinking. They, they don't have the same filters on. That's right, because uh, as, as uh, one of the people said, God, I'm maybe four years old. What's he going to do? Threaten to have my grandchildren killed? He said, I don't like my grandchildren. That's that's the threat you make on a you make old people you don't threaten the same as you do a young person. They don't have the same threat ability because they're dying. They they know that he's got okay, you're eighty four years old, you're not gonna get any younger, so what's going you know. You can't threaten me because you know I'm 